remember in a front stance in form or anything we do the front leg is bent same thing like a lunge the knee doesn't go over the toes the feet are facing in the way of your target we have another great example right here Ashley her back leg again completely straight there's no bend to it she has her front leg and her feet are facing in the same direction and Kelly same thing her knee is bent the leg in the back is completely straight you are uh, when we wear our belt it's facing the target you're an open target it's a front stance we have our foot facing this way so that we could kick it's how we push off if your foot is this if your foot is to the side then it's less time for you it's timing so that's a front stance guys work on that thank you so Back stance, yep. Back stance, you guys want to I'll show here. Um, so it's narrow. See here, so I'm bladed and my hands are up as opposed to a front stance where there's a, there's a big wide, opening. Yeah. So I'm wide open and then the back stance is all about coverage. So, so you can actually look that way. Okay. You, you can go in the same direction as, as Kelly. So, okay. That's just, okay. Yeah, there you go. So this foot and this foot okay. are kind of like their heels, heels almost make a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like yeah. she is. One foot. Yep. And you're bending your, your back things. leg. Yep. Okay. So it's like oh, uh, you're kind of it's sitting. sixty okay. forty. Okay. So it's a back yep. stance. Sixty forty. Good. Come Very good. Uh, this stance um, is used as we use the lead leg. We can oh. use the lead leg as well. Or we're moving. We're moving. Okay. okay, and that's how we use in a back stance. We're completely bladed. And you, you should, if you're looking in the mirror, so Sam, if you turn towards the mirror, you, when you're bladed, you shouldn't be able to see the front. You shouldn't be able to see your chest. You're completely like one narrow small target it's all about how you're presenting yourself okay back stance in front of you so okay. you're going to bring your leg up your knee as high as you can and then you're going to bring your leg out straight you're going to bring it back to the same <laughs> exact position and then yeah. down okay 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 am i wrong okay so front kick a lot of people uh, they're not sure they're just throwing their leg out so I want to break it down for everybody there's four parts to a kick so it's first we're going to do knee up bring your knee up uh, Kelly has a really high chamber and uh, her knee is up high that chamber that's when she comes back that's where we're going to expect where it should go so just like Sam, that's where her chamber is. That's how she's going to come back. And perfect. So your toe is like as if you could stomp your toe. Nope, stay up, oh. stay up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is the foot is flexed. Okay. It's completely flexed. Okay, so the second part, I'll make it real quick on you. Put your leg out straight like you're kicking a door down. And the third part is you're going to bend it right back to where it was. That, yep, that's it. And then you put your foot down. So that's the four counts. So we're going to do it one time full. Uh, and go. And bring it back down. So a little, little like quick. So we want to keep it, we want it here. The purpose of coming back exactly to the spot you were in, because now if I put my arm here, I'm guarded. So if somebody goes to throw a second, a second technique, you're almost bladed. So if they hit you here, this is hard. That's right. That that's your shield. You now shielded yourself. And that is a front kick. Thanks.